Hello people of YouTube, it's Deepak here, and welcome to DCS World 2.8.8 and Polychop Simulations SA342L Gazelle Module. Welcome to tutorial 4, Mistral Missile. The Mistral is a short-range, infrared guided missile that can be fired from the Gazelle. It can be mounted two per pylon for a total of four missiles. You can see here the maximum possible loadout. Um, as I said, quite short range. Maximum range on paper is five kilometers, although fired from a helicopter, for example in the hover, I'd imagine you're going to get much, much less than that. Uh, originally uh, in, brought into service in 1988, and it's in service with the French army. Very simple, air, um, very simple missile to operate. Uh, you simply point it towards a target, wait for tone, and pull the trigger. Much like uh, many anti-tank systems, it actually ejects from the tube first and then fires its rocket motor. So quite like Javelin in that regard. And in the real world, this is fitted to helicopters, vehicles, and it's also available in a man-portable version. For today's demonstration, I have a couple of Huey helicopters off the end of the runway here at Lakatamia. So we're going to go ahead and get the helicopter set up. I'm going to hide my pilot body here and actually hide the collective and then we will go and destroy those two helicopters. So as always you want your armament panels switch in the middle position from Marche. We then get confirmation that we have two missiles on the left and two missiles on the right. We're then going to uncover and arm left and right pylons. Note that we get green lights for both indicating that they are ready. And then the last thing we have to do is turn on the main armament switch here, the master arm. As soon as I flick that, after a short power on, you'll note that we now get the beep, 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 which is the searching tone. Uh, that lets us know the missiles are live and looking for a target. And if I flip down the gun sight, we get a reticle. All we have to do is put the reticle on the target, wait for tone, and then pull the gun slash weapons trigger all the way down to the second detent and hold it the missile will eject from the tube and fire. Uh, now these are, I believe, all aspect missiles, at least against helicopters I've been able to score hits from all aspects. Um, but as always with infrared missiles, you'll have uh, the, the best lock from the exhaust of the enemy target. Uh, almost certainly you're only really going to be hitting helicopters with these. The, you know, there is the possibility to hit low-flying, slower-flying jets, but in a gazelle, that's going to be quite a quite a tough ask. So uh, I imagine mostly you're going to be attacking helicopters with this. So let's get the helicopter airborne. We're quite heavy with this loadout. The Mistral uh, loadout is uh, a pretty pretty heavy one. Let's uh, pull some collective. Get the helicopter airborne. Oh, these guys have noticed me get airborne. Are they going to fly away? You'll see these two Hueys that I've got just off the end of the runway there. No, actually, they seem to be remaining in place. That's cool. I'm going to pull a bit more torque, and I'm going to put my reticle on one of these guys. See if I can do so without hitting street lighting. I'm going to nose it down first and then nose it up. That's tone. Good tone. I'm going to pull the trigger. Missile ejects and is tracking. Uh... Okay, I don't know what happened there. I didn't see it hit. Let's try again. That's definitely a hit. <laughs> okay, that did the trick that time. Let's get the other one if we can. Fire. Off it goes. Bang, that's definitely a hit. Might as well spam the last one at him as well. Bang again. So, oof, yes, nice explosions there. Very good. So as you can see, very, very easy to use. This guy's actually going to try and escape while on fire. That's impressive. Let's uh, let's chase after him and see what happens. I think inevitably he's going to end up in the dirt here. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, very, very easy to operate. Power on the pylons, power on your weapon system, armament switch to on, flip down your gun sight, get tone, and fire. He was on fire for a moment. And the fire seems to have gone out, very impressively. Let's chase after him and see what he does. This has nothing to do with the tutorial now. This is just me being nosy. I want to know what happens to this guy. Um, so yes, uh, maximum loadout for Mistral missiles. Oh, he's going to hit those trees. Yeah, he's definitely... 
Okay, okay, interesting. This guy was hit by two Mistrals and he's continuing to fly, whereas his buddy was instantly obliterated by one hit, so I don't know how this has happened. But anyway, the vagarities of DCS. In any case, I hope you all enjoyed the video. That is the full demonstration of the Mistral. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like, and comment. It's a really big help to me and to the channel. You also have the option of joining Deep Hack's Ground Crew for a small monthly fee if you'd like to further support the channel. Big shout out to those of you who've already done so. Thank you very much. Oh, let me see if I can do this while I'm still flying. Harish Rajan, Byron Farrow, Storm Kimbari, Channel Wright, Mangash, J.R. Walker, Shandor Hedgevald, Griff Nizzle, Mr. Yeti, Bread, Tier Zero, Erdin Kirtan, Tiger Moto, Sean I am 81, Charts, John Bloor, Mike Delta, Sergei Dubovic, Ogatai 36, Hamilton, Frantic Stone, Sandbox Code, Mr. Craptacular, Tog, Kitsune, Rocklin Gaming, Tea Kettle Barbecue, Shmo78, Alex, Colonel Billington, Matt, Flu Diddy, Jürgen Dressel, Aaron Redman, and Pink Floyd. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all next time.